this quick video, I want to show you how to fix a black screen on any Samsung smart TV or TV in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be a smart TV. So what I want you to do, the very first thing I want you to do is go to your remote control, point it towards the TV, and you're going to hold down the power button and point it directly at the TV for 20 seconds. And then you just count 20 seconds. Release and then try it again for another 10 seconds and see if that will start it. If you tried that and that does not work, what I want you to do is locate the power button on the TV. Now some of them will be on the back, some will be on the very bottom left or the very bottom right. This particular smart model here has it right underneath. You have to feel around. It's right, usually right under the end. There's like a little button there. I want you to try to manually turn it on. If it'll and you could just hold it down for a few seconds or you could just hit it. If it turns on, then you know it's your remote control. You just need to change the batteries in your remote or get a new remote if that doesn't work and it's just on the TV. And you can work your TV temporarily doing that by turning it on and then going to the different controls. Now, after you've tried that, the next thing I want you to do is go to the very back here and what I want you to do is unplug either from the wall, the smart TV from the wall, or directly here, which on this unit is right here, as you can see. And what you want to do is I want to give it a good 15 minutes. And that's going to do a soft reset on everything. Don't worry, it's not going to erase your apps or anything. And then plug it back in and then see if that works. Now, if that doesn't work, keep it unplugged. Unplug it. And what you're going to do is with it unplugged, you want to point your remote towards the TV for a good 30 seconds and release. While it's still unplugged, you want to hold down the power button on the TV for 30 seconds and release and then plug it back into the wall and then tell me if that works. Now, if you've tried that and that still does not fix your TV, what I want you to do is get a hair dryer. You could technically use a vacuum cleaner, but a hair dryer is better. You're gonna put it on medium heat, warm heat, high pressure. You're gonna plug it in, keep the TV unplugged, and what you wanna do is you wanna blow air in the vents. Some of them are located up here and then some are located down here on the very bottom of the TV. And what that's doing is it's blowing the dust off of the off of the certain boards and it's actually the warmth is actually changing the chemistry a little bit and that might actually get your TV to start working. That's actually fixed a lot of TVs in my time. And then after you do that, let it cool down. Give it a good 10, 10, 20 minutes to cool down. Plug it back in and then see if that works. Now, if you've tried all that, it's a possibility it might be your power cord that's broken. So what I want you to do is check your power cord. See if you can unplug it from the TV. Usually you can. And it'll look like something like this. As you can see here, it looks like a figure eight. This is called a non-polarized AC power cord. It's very generic. They use it on uh, HP printers, Epson printers, um, Xbox, Playstations, several different devices around the home. And temporarily remove it from that, whether, say let's say, for example, it's an Xbox. Remove it from the Xbox, plug it up, and then plug it into your Samsung and see if that works. If it does, then the only thing you need to do is get another AC power cord to replace it. I'll put in the comment section where you can get these generic. They're very cheap. They're usually about 10 bucks off of Amazon or eBay. Um, and then see, see if that fixes the problem because this, this might be the AC power cord. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. If you want to uh, donate some super thanks below, if I did fix your, help fix your TV, there's a little thing where you can give me like two or three bucks. Super thanks. Don't worry, not a big deal. Um, uh, your subscription or a like would be awesome as well. And I really appreciate you watching and make sure you subscribe.